Hello! Today I'm going to be taking a look at these Derwent charcoal blocks. I've been sitting on these for a while and I'm absolutely dying to try them out. I imagine they are going to be incredibly messy but I really want to see how they're going to work and I also have the XL graphites which I'm going to look at in a later video. For today let's focus on the charcoals and let's get into it! We have six very large, hence the name XL, charcoal sticks. They are already a little bit cracked. I did mention in my haul video when I first showed these that the art shop where I bought them from, their delivery was somewhat flawed in that all of the sets had broken charcoals in them. They very kindly let me put a few different sets together to make a whole one for this video. The black is a little bit shorter than the other ones and there is a chip off the edge of it, but this is as good as I can get and I'm sure that I'm going to end up breaking them myself because charcoal is always just so very fragile. Look at it, it's all over my hands already. I'm going to make such a mess, aren't I? <laughs> so I'm going to be perfectly honest and say that I don't have very much experience using charcoals, mainly because it is so messy and I'm not a big fan of the texture of charcoal and pastels, things like that. I find it quite uncomfortable, but I'm going to work through my issues today and do this because I also have an idea for a drawing in which I hope is going to work out and I think this set will be excellent for it. I'll take a closer look at the colours and I'll swatch them all out so we can see what they look like. These are also water soluble but I do intend on probably using them dry. I'm not too sure yet, I will have a bit of an experimentation and see what they look like once they have been wet as well as when they are dry. So while I was getting ready, I came up with an idea because I was remembering that Derwent actually do provide little holders for these so you can hold them and not get your hands messy. I'm not about to go out and buy one, so I made one out of paper, just a little makeshift thing that I can hold and it makes it a lot cleaner. I've got some more paper here. It's just a strip of scrapbook paper from an offcut. So all I did was basically wrap it around the charcoal. I could cut this paper down, but I'm probably just going to end up using the whole thing. There, perfect. <laughs> and it looks like they'll sit in as well. So I'll end up making some more, I think, but I also do want to try using the entire stick, so I'll leave some of them like that. It's a nice way just to keep your fingers from getting absolutely filthy if you're using the edges of them. I found this off-cut piece of drawing paper. It's got a bit of tooth to it. I think it will do just to quickly swatch them out and see what they're like for my first impressions. I also have this black paper sketchbook for the white one because white is not going to show up on here. I could have gone with a toned piece of paper, but I thought of that after the fact. I might as well use this. I've ruled it up. Oh, they're so crumbly. I hate the feeling of it on my fingers, it's that rough texture, it's like nails on a blackboard. <laughs> but there we go, there's the white one. I'm going to be brave and smudge them across the page with my finger. Ah, taking one for the team here. Ew, I just hate the feeling of them. It's that sandy, yucky texture. if my sets have the right colours in them. That Sanguine and Mars Violet don't really look like the colours I expected them to, but they do say it on the stick itself, so I don't know, maybe I've just got strange coloured ones, or maybe they are that colour. Let me know if you have these, if my ones look the same as yours. I'm really curious about that. So now I'm just going to wet these and see what happens with them. I'm also going to take it directly off the blocks as well, but I thought I would try to start with just putting them straight on the paper. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> goes quite milky on the black. I'm just going to take some off the blocks just to see if there's any difference there. Okay, so you can get quite a thicker layer of colour taking it directly from the block. So they're quite versatile in that you can use them dry or wet and you can either put the charcoal down first or paint from the charcoal. I've made a mess of this yellow one already. I should have painted it from the side so I didn't take the XL off. Never mind, it's not the end of the world. The other things you can do with charcoal, these XL sticks, is that they're designed to cover a large area very quickly and so you can use it on its side to create different textured marks like that. You can use a corner or the edge to create thinner lines and there's all sorts of ways I guess you can use it. It's just a matter of experimenting and playing around with different techniques. Like I said, I am no expert when it comes to charcoal, so I'm teaching myself as I go along here, but it seems they are quite versatile. I love the size of them. I think they're really great and they feel nice aside from when you do that. It's just that eee, gritty texture I don't care for. So in this video I've actually done the drawing in advance. This is because I just had no confidence whatsoever with the charcoal and I wanted to see if I could actually make something without it being a complete disaster. I think it turned out pretty well and the inspiration for it is when we were unwell a few weeks ago with COVID I was coughing and sneezing everywhere and we called our house the plague house for a while and it just made me think of plague doctors from centuries ago and those really creepy bird masks that they wore and so my drawing today is inspired from that. I've had the idea in my head for a few weeks now and I'm really excited that I managed to get it down on paper. I think it looks pretty awesome. So without further ado, here is the plague doctor in XL charcoal. Pretty proud of that. It's the first time I have ever enjoyed using charcoal and it's the first time I've ever managed to get a decent looking artwork out of it. I mean it's not perfect but I do love the light areas that I managed to keep in this. It is so fragile. That charcoal is just sitting on top without anything holding it down. So I'm probably going to spray everything with some fixative. I'm not too sure yet. Do I cover it in fixative? Please let me know and I will do that if needed. 
So I was thinking about doing a vignette around it, so having a really dark area fading into light, but I just don't want to wreck it. I think I actually really just like it like this. Because of that, I'm going to do a second drawing. This actually went a lot faster than I was expecting, and I do have time for a second one. And I think in the second one, I am going to use a background as well. I'm quite enjoying just using the charcoal dry, so I don't know that I'm going to use any water in this video today. I just wanted to use the charcoal as charcoal what it is originally intended for but it was so much fun so far and even though it felt yucky on my fingers I managed to get through it and I'll keep going the more I do it hopefully the less sensitized I will become <laughs> so onwards to the next one I found a picture of a wolf here is my reference photo and I've put it into Photoshop and added this vignette around there I also drew it in advance because I wasn't sure if this was going to turn out I think it's kind out okay it was a lot more difficult and I did use a couple of other tools in here but let me show you what I drew I'm gonna call it done because I have made a horrendous mess all over the back of my desk and I had to clean it off once because I had a huge border of black around there. I'll show you a picture of that now. So yes, I've got it embedded in my fingers. I'm really glad I put these little paper jackets on because it did help just to minimize the mess. I also used a few other tools as you may have noticed, one being this little foofy makeup brush that I've had for years and I decided to pull out for art purposes. This is quite good at just dusting off my thumbprints and things like that. I had a larger one but that just immediately took all of the charcoal off so I gave up on that one pretty quickly. I did have a tortillion but I just didn't enjoy using it and I did cheat a little bit and use some charcoal pencils for the eye area and the nose because I just couldn't get enough detail with the big charcoal so these are the Derwent tinted charcoal pencils by the same company so I figured it's okay but otherwise there's still heaps of charcoal in here I used all of them except for the sepia because it just wasn't fitting in with the color schemes of either pictures. I've managed to take off quite a bit on that black <laughs> but oh my gosh it's such a messy thing to do and to remind you 
here is the Plague Doctor that I first got. This is what started this entire video for me, but I thought it would be fun to try something else. I've been wanting to draw a wolf for ages. It didn't turn out too badly in the end, although I managed to get a bit of water on the edge, which is super annoying and that will not come out, but never mind. I got two artworks. It's the first time I've ever really enjoyed using charcoal. It's such a fast medium. I was able to do both of these in a morning. The wolf did take a bit longer. It was a lot more detailed, but the Plague Doctor was really quick. So to get out a quick drawing they're fantastic and I had a lot of fun. I like the bigger chunky blocks. It does make you loosen up a bit and I really recommend them. I think if you're like me and just want to try some charcoal again and see if you can fall in love with it, these are a really great start. They're not too expensive, at least they aren't in Australia, and they last for quite a long time. I mean charcoal gets chewed up pretty quickly so I think they're a great set and I think the quality of them is really nice too so I highly recommend these even if you don't like charcoal they're pretty fun and I was able to loosen up quite a lot today. There we go it's as much as I can fit on there because both of these drawings are really big. Thank you so much for watching let me know what you think did you enjoy watching this video with the different musics that I put in? I think after using these Do and XL charcoals, I am going to be a bit more confident doing a few more drawings, maybe some studies and sketches. And now I've gotten past my discomfort, I will hopefully eventually try some pastels as well because I'm exactly the same with those. I just don't like the feel of them. But I think I just need to immerse myself into it and get over it. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button because it really helps my channel. And I appreciate all of your amazing comments as well. I hope you all doing well out there. I will see you again really soon in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!